Hi, it's Dr. Adam. Let's talk about molecular symmetry and symmetry operations. Symmetry is all around us and is a phenomenon of the natural world. It is exhibited in everyday objects such as buildings, animals, flowers, dominoes, and snowflakes. Molecules, as the basis for most of these examples, also contain symmetry, even if it is to say that they have no symmetry. These molecules may contain several symmetry elements such as mirror planes, axes of rotation, and inversion centers. When we make a symmetry change, be it a rotation or something else, we call the movement a symmetry operation. To be valid, a symmetry operation must leave the molecule indistinguishable from the previous condition. The first operation, the identity operation, given the letter E, does nothing to the molecule, but rather is included for mathematical completeness. The rotation operation, sometimes called a proper rotation, is a rotation through 360 degrees divided by n. It is denoted with a C subscript n, where n is the number of rotations required to return the molecule to the original state. If n is 1, then this is the same as the identity and is ignored. For this square planar molecule, we have a C4 axis of rotation, as four rotations of 90 degrees are required to return the molecule to the original state, whilst also leaving the molecule seemingly unchanged. There can be more than one axis of rotation in a molecule, and this square planar molecule also has multiple C2 axes, such as the one shown. If a molecule has two axes of rotation, such as here, then the one with the highest value of n is known as the principal axis. When we do a reflection operation, the molecule has a mirror plane. These often coincide with rotational axes. The major mirror plane is coincident with the principal axis of rotation and is designated with a sigma v. Any other mirror planes are donated with sigma subscript h. One of the more subtle symmetry operations that a molecule can possess is a center of inversion labeled with I. The previous example we had includes a center of inversion. If we label each atom with a number, we can see this process more easily. As a result, atom 1 interchanges with atom 3 and 4 with 2, leaving the molecule seemingly unchanged. The final symmetry operation is an improper rotation labeled as S subscript N. This is a rotation followed by an inversion with the N in the subscript derived from the order of the rotation as explained earlier. Labeling the atoms will make it easier to follow the changes. First, the methane molecule is partially rotated by 90 degrees or a C4 rotation. After the rotation, we do an inversion operation to obtain a structure that is identical to the first, but has had the hydrogen atoms interchanged by the operations. Let's check comprehension. 